With Mother's Day quickly approaching, I wanted to create some personalized crafts and show you step by step how to create them. Today I will be creating some DIY Mother's Day subway tiles using some 651 vinyl. These are really easy and fun to create and I can't wait to show you how to create these. So let's get started. Alright guys, so with Mother's Day quickly approaching, I wanted to show everyone how to do these. They are so quick and easy to create and you can change them and use whatever colors you want, use whatever kind of blocks you want. I'm just using the regular ones that I bought from Menards. They're just like clear ones that I picked up from Menards. I think they were under $3 a piece. And then these files here that I have, I purchased these off of the last design bundle uh, dollar deal. So I got all of these for a dollar, which was amazing because if you go look now, they're a couple bucks a piece. So I got a really good deal there. And I always leave the link and I always let you guys know ahead of time before the dollar deal begins. So you don't want to miss out on that. So that's where I got these. I will leave the link below in case you're interested in purchasing these. My girls don't really call their grandparents uh, Nana. So I'm just going to get rid of these ones um, anyways. And then this mama one, um, I don't really like too much. So I'm just going to work with these uh, three here. So I'm just going to take these and X out. But I just wanted to show you what they actually look like when you purchase them. So... You guys know me, if you follow my channel, I like to visualize things and see how things are going to look. You can skip ahead if you don't want to do this part, but I love doing this part to visualize it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the left here, grab a shape, click on square, and I'm going to make the square the size of my tile that I'm using. And it's roughly a 4 by 12. I have my tile on my mat right now, and I can kind of see it's just a little bit smaller than a 4 by 12. But for visual to visualize it, I'm just going to change it. So I have it selected here. I'm going to go to the unlock box up here and then change the width to be 12 and then the height to four. So again, you don't have to do this part. It's just to visualize it instead of going in here and saying, okay, I want this to be, you know, 11 and a half by three and a half. I like to visualize to see what it looks like. So I'm going to start with this grandma one here actually and pull it over and you see it went black. So don't be afraid. Your image is still there. You just have to go to the arrange button up here and send to front. So here it is. So what I like to do is put it up in the corner and then take the double arrow and drag it. And um, you can leave it this way if you want and leave all the space above here and down below. Um, but I'm going to actually unlock it here on the left here and just drag it down a little bit just to see what it's going to look like. So remember that um, if you do a 12 by 4 for your tile itself or the background here, it's not actually a 12 by 4, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. So actually, I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller just to visualize what it's going to look like. So I want to make sure that my file is not going to go over that box. So this is where visualizing comes in really handy. So you can see how it's going to look on your tile rather than just guessing and saying, okay, I want this to be 11 by 3, you know, so now you can visualize it to see what it looks like. So I really like how this one looks, so I'm going to leave this one down here. Next one I'm going to work on is the best mom ever. So again, I'm going to move it. It's going to go behind. So I'm going to click Arrange, Send to Front. I like to put them up in the corner and then just stretch it out from there. And then unlock it. And then just pull it down. You can kind of see where you want it. And it doesn't have to be this stretched out. I mean, you can make it smaller if you want, just like this. Um, but again, it's just to visualize it just to see what it looks like. So I really like this one. And then we're going to do the last one really quick. Again, go up to the range, send to front, and then just make it larger. These don't all have to be the same size. I think that's the fun part of it too, is you can kind of make them different sizes. You can make them bigger, smaller. You can make it like kind of like this one actually, where it's got more room at the top. So I'm going to leave this one the way it is too. So we don't need this part. This was just to visualize what it was going to look like. So the next part here. So I have the three here that I want. You can tell that they're different sizes. So on the side here, this first one, you can tell that they're all um, ungrouped. So if you go to cut this out, it's going to cut each individual piece separately and it's going to be a real mess. So the way I like to do this is actually click the ungroup button up here. And I've worked with this one already before. So 
I already have the size, right? The most important thing to do is change the size first before you even do this next part. So this part is all together. So I have this best ever on here. I'm gonna move this over. And since we ungrouped it, this is what it's gonna look like. So it would cut out each one of these pieces individually. We don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it all. And I'm gonna to go to the attach button down here. So it attached all of these pieces for me together. So when I go to cut this out, it'll cut out just as it looks. So if you're bringing this back in here, it doesn't really matter where it goes right now because um, we're not gonna cut it out together. I'm gonna actually gonna change the color. So I guess you can leave it the way it was and just change the color, but I wanna do two different variations of colors. So I think for the first one, I'm going to be using a holographic color, so it doesn't really matter what I choose on here. So I have the best ever selected. I'm gonna to go to the color box and I'm just gonna choose this you know, lighter pink color here. And then I want the mom to be a different color. So I'm gonna go up to the color box again and I'm gonna choose you know, this color. It doesn't have to be these two colors. It's just when I go to cut it out, I know that I'm going to be using holographic graphic and I know it's going to be uh, two different colors so let's say I want all this to be the same color all you have to do whoops wrong button all you have to do is you know select all of it and then you can go to the attach button here and then that will cut everything out all together as one piece I'll show you what I mean so I'll change this one to blue so this is what this is gonna look like so it's gonna cut out as one whole piece together so I'll do this one last one uh, the grandma best ever and you got to do the same thing ungroup up here and then this should come down here so you have two different ones so here it is again best ever we can change the color again so i'm just going to choose green it doesn't have to be that i'm going to be cutting this out green it's just going to tell me that i want it to be different and then when i go to cut these two out up here that are going to be on holographic i'm going to know in my head okay for the pink and the red it's going to be holographic and then for this one this blue you know it could be a red color but I know that it would be just regular vinyl. So in your head, you just kind of kind of remember that. So for this last one, again, it's going to cut out separately. So you want to select all of it. Go down here and push attach. Whoops. As you saw when that flashed, if you saw that little bit flash here, I actually did not grab every single piece. I don't know if you guys caught that or not. But I'm going to go ahead and select it again. And now I'm going to push attach. So this time it grabbed all those pieces. So before it was missing, you know, this little piece here and the piece to here. So I wanted to make sure that we got all of that. So again, it doesn't matter where this is going to go right now. Um, I honestly don't even remember where it was. So it doesn't matter where it's going to go. I think it was about there, right? I think that was about it. It doesn't matter where it's going to go because it's going to cut out separately anyway. So for this one, with all the colors the same and it's already attached, it's going to cut out as you see it. So you won't have to layer anything together. So for this last one, I'm just going to change the grandma color to, let's say, um, a yellow. And again, it doesn't have to be these colors. It's just in the back of my mind that I know that, again, I want this to be holographic and this will be one other color and then this too. So that is it. So we resized it, right? We resized it to what we want. We changed the color and we attached everything. So now we're going to go to the make it and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. You might be able to hear my machine in the background. I turned it off and I forgot to turn it back on. So here's what it looks like. So like I said, this is going to be the holographic. So when I go to cut this out, I'm going to show you which setting I use. And then I'll show you these other ones really quick, what they look like. Because we attached it, everything is going to cut out exactly how we want it. So I'm going to click continue. And I'll show you which uh, setting I use. So for this first one, again, holographic. So for the first and second one, I'm going to be using holographic. So I have this one right here, this premium vinyl holographic. This is what I'm going to use for the first two. And then when I cut out the grandma and best ever, and then this one, I'm going to be using regular vinyl. So very important, you want to go back and change it to whatever you're going to be using. So I'm going to be using just regular vinyl. I use stencil vinyl for this. So before I cut out the yellow, the green, and the blue, I'm going to come back and push uh, stencil vinyl. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. So because I'm using holographic first, I'm going to change that. Um, we're not, uh, we don't have to mirror this. We don't have to 
do anything else with this. So I'm going to get the holographic vinyl on there. I love this holographic vinyl I bought. I will leave it in the link below in case you're interested in it. But I'm going to go ahead and cut these out on the Cricut. I will weed it out and then I will show you the next step of putting this onto your tile. And it is going to turn out beautiful and any mom or grandma would love to have this. So stay tuned guys. Let's finish this up. All right, so I finished cutting out my files. I'll show you them here quick. So I did this one in the glitter vinyl, and then I did this one in the holographic vinyl. I don't know how well it shows up. And then this one goes to the, together. I just chose to do a gold one for grandma and then black for best ever. And I'm gonna show you, I did two of them really quick to show you what it looked like. So this is the grandma best ever, and I'm not sure if it shows up well because this is white, but I really love how this turned out. And then I'm gonna show you the holographic one, which I'm not really too impressed with on this white. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Um, but I think it's really pretty. So those are those two. And then I'll show you the tile alone that I bought. So I bought it off, or I bought it from Menards. Um, and I think, oh, that one scratched a little bit. And I think it was like under $3 for the whole glass thing. And they have a whole bunch of different colors, but I chose to get like the clear one here. It's got this nice white backing on it, so you don't have to do anything with the back. The only thing you have to do is clean the top with this. You just want to take some alcohol on like a paper towel or something and rub it really well and clean it so you don't have any finger marks or anything on it or any dust or anything. So I already did that. So I'm just going to take my file and I'm just going to start with, let's see. I'll start with an easier one. So I could do this one. I'm gonna do this gold one. I really wanna see what this one looks like. So this is the uh, glitter gold one. So I'm just gonna take some transfer tape. And you all know I hate Cricut. If you are subscribed to the channel, you know I hate Cricut. But I have this Cricut um, transfer tape that I'm gonna give a try and see how it works. It came with a couple of the rolls that I bought previously. And I never used the transfer tape, so I'm going to give the transfer tape a try. I still don't really care for the vinyl itself, so I'm going to see... Gee whiz, I can't even get it off. I'm going to see how this transfer tape compares to the kind that I have. I do like it that it has the grid on it, but I also have some stuff from... Frisco, I think it's called, um, and I really love their transfer tape. It has the lines on it as well, so I'm going to kind of compare these two and see which one I like better. I do love this that it has the grid lines on it, so I can kind of line it up at the top with my file, and we'll see how it works. And then I love this. It's got a soft part on the edge here, and then you got the hard part here. I love this because no matter how hard you scrape, you're not going to tear or rip your transfer tape. I really love this scraper. It's a little bit smaller, but I love this one compared to the other ones that I've been using because I have not ripped or tear, tore anything with this. So if you're interested in this, I'll leave the link below, but I really love this. It does a really good job. So what I like to do is pick it up and then work backwards to make sure that I get everything off. So we will see how this transfer tape works. So, hmm, although I scrubbed it really hard, or rubbed it really hard, it's still not coming off very well. And, you know what? I see another problem. I totally forgot. This is Cricut Brand. What do I say about Cricut Brand? I hate it. So, I do actually notice that this vinyl is the Cricut Brand. So, I think that's why I'm having the issues here. I've never really gotten great results with the Cricut brand. I don't know. Is it just me, guys? Is it you? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm using the Cricut brand and the Cricut transfer tape, and it still doesn't want to come off. And I scrubbed with this really, really hard, and it's still not coming off. I don't know if it's just me, if I'm doing something wrong, but I've never had this issue with any other vinyl that I've had before. So I went extra slow because it's just picking up the pieces here. So I am not happy with this transfer tape. I am not happy with this vinyl. I think I'm going to stick with what I do. I just buy whatever's cheapest off of Amazon, but I love the, and I think I'm saying it right, the Fresco. I think I'm saying that right. I'm going to double check and I'll leave the link below to what I use, but I am not impressed with this at all. So I'm just going to take one of my tiles and then 
I guess that's where the grid comes in handy as you can kind of see where you're going to put it before you lay it down. I'm going to move my camera a little bit closer so you guys can see this. There, hopefully it's a little bit better for you guys to see. So here is my file and then I'm just going to go ahead and find the center of this with the grid lines so I know it's straight on the top and the bottom. And you want to make sure it's straight on the sides too. So there. And I guess the test will be to make sure that this comes off of the transfer tape. But here's what it looks like so far. So I'm just going to take my squeegee again and work really hard and push this vinyl down. But like I said, I really do not like the Cricut brand. You know, leave a comment down below. Do you use Cricut? What brands do you guys use? I would love to know what you guys are using. If you have the same issue with the Cricut brand as I do, or if it's just me, I don't know. I just don't like it. It doesn't seem to work as well as the other ones. So you see how hard and how long I've been pushing this on. So we will see if this peels up. Oh, shocking. It actually does. I was thinking it wasn't going to pull it up, but it pull up the vinyl with it. I will admit it is very pretty, but I do not like the vinyl. So here it is, best mom ever. So it's just like this. It was very easy to put together. It took but a couple minutes to cut this out, and this would make a great gift for you know a mom, a grandma, a friend, you know anything. But Mother's Day is coming right around the corner, so I thought this was a really neat idea. So again, the back is just the white, so you don't have to do anything to this. So I thought that was pretty neat. So you just need like a dollar store stand, and then you can just put it up just like this. So I'm going to show you one more because this next one is actually two pieces. So we have to layer this. So this is two pieces. So we have the best ever and then the grandma part here. So we have to layer this. So the first part you want to do is grab the best ever and then you want to layer it on top of the grandma one. So I'm going to take the same piece of transfer tape and then just do, oops, just do the same thing. And I'm going to use the grid lines on here as well and kind of line it up. And now I'm going to work even harder with this and we're going to see if it sticks any better. But I'm really going to, I'm pushing hard on this. I'm going to go for a few times. I'll try this side as well. And we'll see if that does it any better. Then again, I like to flip it upside down. And then, whoops, work upside down to make sure everything comes off. Okay, that time it came off a little bit better. So then I want to take the other piece and line this up with that one. So there's little lines in here that you can see right there. So you wanna line it up with those pieces there. So I'm just gonna take my time and put them in the middle. Oops, where it belongs. So there, so one thing I should have done is actually moved the middle part up down a little bit further because my transfer tape did not quite hit all the way at the top. So I'm gonna do the same thing and just use my squeegee and push really hard to get these both together. Oops, and I missed up my part here because I don't have the top part. So if you make a mistake like that, you don't get it all the way at the top, you can always use another piece of transfer tape, which I think I might do, and actually go over the top of it. So you guys know me, I'm always honest, I made a mistake, I didn't go up high enough, so I'm just using another piece of transfer tape, and I'm going right over that. So now I got the whole top part here done. So I'm just going to take my squeegee and get the bubbles out, and then push really hard so it all sticks together. So hopefully that makes sense. So now I'm just going to peel up. my transfer tape, and then again, peel off the backing. There we go. So here's the other one. I like to see where the tag is on the back, and then I put it on the lower right hand of that. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm sorry about the light. I have a light above, I'm in my kitchen, so I have a light above me, so it's kind of glaring off of there. I'm sorry about that. And now, just doing the same thing as before, you just wanna layer this on. To make sure that you have enough on each side and then you can use your grid paper as kind of a guide 
to see where to put it. So my grid is a little bit off. I don't know if you can tell. I didn't do the best job making it straight. So I have to kind of eyeball it here. I'm not going off of my grid. I'm going off of the actual file itself. So I'm trying to find the center part and then I'm trying to give enough on both sides and then also the top. So I'm, I'm kind of gauging up here how far and then on each side here on how far I'm going over. So it looks pretty good the way it is now. So I'm just gonna take my squeegee and then go over it again. I guess I really like this side because it won't break anything. And then just rub really well. Have you guys done these tiles before? This is my first time and I really love the way they look. Um, at my craft fair last week, I saw somebody selling these, but it was outrageous. I think they were selling them for like $45 for exactly this and no stand, no nothing. So I was really surprised at that. So I'm just going to gently peel back my transfer tape. All right, guys, I am finished. I am throwing this transfer tape out. Normally I like to reuse it, but no, I am done. I do not like the transfer tape and I definitely do not like the Cricut vinyl. Have you guys used the Cricut brand before? Leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. So I am not really happy with this at all. It's got some bubbles in it, which I've never had before. So the way I get my bubbles out is I actually take a hairdryer on low and I go over it. And then I take my squeegee and I just push on it and that just gradually brings the bubbles out. Otherwise, people have been telling me that they use pins and they stick it in there, but I've never done that. I'm always afraid that it's going to leave like a little pinhole in it that you're going to see. So I just work with it to try to get all the bubbles out. So I got them out except for one little one in there. Um, but here is what it looks like. I really love how this turned out, except for, like I said, the vinyl wasn't sticking very well and the transfer tape was giving me a hard time, but this is what it looks like. I think it's beautiful. I'm just going to get a little stand for it, you know, from the dollar store and put it on a stand and see if I can sell that at the two stores that I'm in. I'm going to put it on my website, I Create Crafts, if anybody's interested in it. I love how this turned out, and I'll show you what they all look like when they're all done and on some stands so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But here it is. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and hit that subscribe button and share with your friends. All right, guys, here's how they turned out. What do you guys think? I love how these turned out. They were very inexpensive and a lot of fun to create, actually, except for the Cricut brand vinyl. I don't know. Please leave it in the comments below. Do you use Cricut brand? But anyways, back to this. So I'm going to be putting these into the two stores that I'm in currently selling in right now. And a little bit later this summer, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be branching out and going to different stores and seeing if I can sell anything in there. So if you guys are crafters and you love what you do and you want to make a little bit of money, this would be a perfect opportunity. You take your stuff, you go to a store or a little boutique or a consignment shop, and you ask them if they want to buy stuff directly from you or if you can put it on consignment. That's what I did and I'm in two shops. If you're interested in more in this, I have an ebook for sale. Go check that out. I would love for you guys to check it out and let me know. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Leave me a thumbs up if you like this and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already.